Hello everyone, my name is Giovanna and I'm so excited for this video. I know that you're gonna love it and it's gonna help you so much. It's a one week meal prep that's easy, delicious, healthy, and the best part, budget friendly. If you love meal prep videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below because I upload videos every single week inspiring you and motivating you to lead a healthier life. So this meal prep is special because I will be showing you two recipes for breakfast, two for lunch, and two for dinner. One will be plant-based and the other will be regular. So it's perfect if you're maybe trying to eat more fruits and vegetables and you want to include more plant-based meals into your day or your week, or maybe you are transitioning out of a fully plant-based diet and you want to start incorporating a little bit of animal protein into your diet, this is a great way as well. This meal prep is also great for people that are just trying to eat more whole foods and learn how to make healthy, easy meals at home. Okay, so now let's get started with the recipes. You will find all the details of these recipes, including the ingredients and portions on my blog at my website. I'll leave you guys the link below. The first breakfast option is a delicious overnight oats. This is one of my go-to meal prep breakfast because it's just so easy to make. So in a jar, the first ingredient you put is rolled oats and oats are a great source of good carbohydrate that are gonna fuel you with energy to start your day. Next ingredient is almond milk. And I love almond milk because it digests really well and it's also rich in calcium. Next ingredient is chia seeds, and chia seeds are full of healthy fats, including omega-3 fatty acids. To sweeten our overnight oats, I will be using some 100% pure maple syrup, but you can use either monk fruit or stevia or honey, whatever your sweetener of preference is. Finally, half a teaspoon of cinnamon that helps regulate our blood sugar levels in our body, curb cravings, and adds a bit of sweetness to our recipe. Now you mix all these ingredients and you can use your fruit of choice to include in these. I will make three different ones. I'm making one with strawberry, another one with banana, and one with blackberries. I love berries because they're high in antioxidants and they're great for your skin. And I love bananas too because they're great pre and post workout. I personally am an active person, so I like to always just have that energy, have that fuel, they're rich in potassium, and they just make anything taste better. Seriously, like I love bananas. I recommend buying fruit that is in season because it will be the most nutritious, delicious, and cheap. Our next breakfast is delicious egg cupcakes. These are so easy to make. They're fun, they're delicious, and they're rich in protein. So the first step is cracking your eggs in a bowl, whip them up, mix it all really well, and once it's all mixed, now we add the rest of our ingredients. Next ingredient is bell pepper, and bell pepper is super high in vitamin C, which helps boost our immune system. Red onion to give it a little bit of flavor, and cilantro, which is great for metal detoxification in our body. Metal, metal detoxification, yeah. I don't know why I said metal. Anyways, season with salt and pepper, mix it all really well. Now you get a cupcake maker. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil around it just so nothing sticks and pour the mixture into all of them. Pop it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Wait, and just like that, they're gonna be out. Now you can put them in a meal prep container Aren't these so cute? They smell delicious. You can freeze them, you can refrigerate them, and have them ready on the go. 
For lunch, we're gonna be making some salads in jars, which are my personal favorite to make for meal prep and on the go. You can put them in a bag and you just put it on a plate or eat it straight from the jar and you have a delicious, nutritious meal. Okay, so first step is making our dressing. I'm gonna be making the same dressing for the whole week. So for this dressing, I will be using lemon juice, which is very detoxifying and high in vitamin C, extra virgin olive oil, and olive oil is a great source of healthy fats and a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it, super simple. You mix it all really well, and now we're ready to make our salads. First salad will have a Mexican flair. So for this one, you add some of the dressing. I added around three tablespoons of this dressing. White rice, and I personally like white rice better than brown rice. I used to think brown rice was healthier, but recent studies have found that white rice is a great source of good carbohydrate, and this is just steamed rice with a little bit of salt. I personally like it like this. Maybe you can add a little bit of oil or butter to make it a little softer however you want. Next ingredient is tomato, which is super hydrating. Cilantro to add that Mexican touch. Some hard boiled eggs to add that protein and hard boiled eggs are excellent for meal prepping and keeping in the fridge or in the freezer for the week. Finally, some greens, and this is a blend of spinach and arugula. I personally love this blend. I love arugula, I love the kick and flavor that it adds to food. And I'm topping it off with some healthy fats, avocado. Avocado is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fats to eat. I eat avocado almost every day, and it's full of fiber and water, and it's just delicious. And that is it, you just cover it, you have it ready for the week. They look super cute. When you're ready to eat it, just mix it, put it in a plate, or eat it straight from the jar. Now we're gonna make our plant-based salad for the week. Again, same dressing. Next, I'm adding some garbanzo beans, and garbanzo beans are a great source of plant-based protein. And I'm adding some more white rice as well. So when you mix a legume with a grain, that actually creates a complete protein, a complete plant-based protein. So that is why I'm mixing both of them. Some cucumber to add that hydration. Red onion for that flavor. Greens, I'm using the same blend of spinach and arugula. And finally, avocado. I think with this recipe, some vegan cheese or maybe some goat cheese or feta cheese would go really well, but for the simplicity and honestly deliciousness, because I can eat avocado with anything, I will be using avocado. Here's our plant-based salad. It looks delicious and ready to pop in the fridge and have it ready on the go. All right, so maybe you're thinking, what about a snack? If I get hungry, I personally eat two snacks a day, sometimes only one, but I think a great snack is just an apple with a tablespoon or two of peanut butter or almond butter because it's satiating, it's good fat, it's good carbohydrate, it's fresh, it has fiber, it will help your digestion, it's sweet so it will curve off any cravings. This is honestly one of my favorite snacks. Or you can just eat the nuts by themselves. So this is a great snack option plus Apples keep in the fridge for a long time fresh. That is one of the many reasons why I love apples and Fuji is my favorite flavor. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. Now we're on to dinner. For the first dinner, you wanna heat a pan to medium high and put a little bit of avocado oil. And for this time, I'm using avocado oil. Once it starts to heat up, now I'm gonna add my red onion, cook it for about 30 seconds, and then add the broccoli. Once the broccoli starts to cook, I'm adding half a cup of water so that it cooks better. And finally, adding some garbanzo beans and seasoning with salt and pepper. Super simple and delicious. I love broccoli because it's packed with minerals like iron and magnesium and zinc and calcium. It's full of nutrition. And when you cook it, it's just easier to digest and it tastes better. Once the broccoli is done, now we remove it from the pan, and my protein of choice today is shrimp. Of course, you can substitute it for tofu or tempeh if you're going for a plant-based version, or you can add some fish or chicken or meat, whatever your protein is. This is a lower carbohydrate 
dinner. So if you wanna add some rice, you can do that too. I'll season with salt and pepper the same. Cook it for about five, seven minutes. And once it's cooked, it's ready to prep. I'm using these glass containers, which I absolutely love. I'll actually link them below and you can see my personal favorite containers. So here is our dinner. Smells delicious. And one thing that I would personally add is avocado. You wanna add the avocado until you're ready to eat it because otherwise it will just turn brown and you don't want that. So put it on when you're ready to eat it and it's gonna be delicious. Yay! Okay, now our plant-based dinner. This is one of my favorite recipes and I hope that you try it because I think you're gonna love it, especially if you like turmeric. If you don't like turmeric, you can simply omit it and the recipe will taste just as delicious. So the first step is heating up a little bit of oil. You can also use a spray if you're trying to use less oil, but I think a teaspoon or so is enough. Now I'm adding some potatoes and I don't know about you guys, but I just love potatoes. Like they're just one of my favorite things to eat. I can just eat them by themselves. They're just oh, so satiating. But once the potatoes start to cook a little bit, now add half a cup of water so that they cook better. Remember that potatoes take a little bit longer, but the smaller that you cut them, the faster that they will cook. Cover the pan and we're gonna cook the potatoes for around five to seven minutes. Once it starts to cook a little bit, we add the cauliflower. Cauliflower is a great veggie, especially if you're trying to lose weight. I feel like cauliflower is great because it's super satiating. It fills you up, it's full of fiber. Cover it again, we'll cook it for another five minutes. And now we're ready to add our protein. For this dish, I will be using tempeh because it's what I had at home, uh, but you can also use tofu. I think tofu is a little bit less expensive, so if you're looking out for your budget, then I would recommend using tofu, and it's also a great source of plant-based protein. For those of you that don't know what tempeh is, it's basically fermented soybean, and it comes in a little block, but I cut it up into small pieces today. I prefer it more than tofu, but tofu works perfectly as well too. And if you want to add chicken or beef or fish to this recipe, I'm sure it would taste delicious as well. Okay, now we're ready to season this dish and I will be using one teaspoon of turmeric powder, a little bit of salt, pepper, and turmeric is great, super beneficial, plus it adds a beautiful color to this dish and it's a great anti-inflammatory. Mix it up, cook it for another four minutes and now we're ready to prep. So I'm gonna divide this in three because this recipe is for three days and the previous recipe was for two days. Here is our delicious plant-based dinner. Honestly, it smells so good, so delicious. I think it would also taste great with curry powder. It seriously tastes so good. If you make this, please tag me on Instagram at Yovana and use the hashtag YovanaFam. I can't wait to see your creations. All right guys, so this is our beautiful spread, our meal prep for the week. It doesn't this look so delicious. I wanna know which one of these recipes you wanna try. Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you make this, tag me, post it. You can find me everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, at Yovana. I wanna take a moment to thank this community and thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your support. I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you. And if you like these videos, if you like my content, please share it with your friends and your family. It helps support this channel and to spread the message of living a healthy life. I love you. I send you lots of love and light and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.